breakout rooms in Microsoft Teams. If you want to learn how to set them up and how to work with them, then keep on watching. Hello, I'm Tony, and this is my channel, Ready Steady Excel. If you want to master these applications, then by clicking subscribe and hitting the bell, we'll put you on the right path. Breakout rooms, not as exciting as virtual backgrounds, but they are very useful. They're great if you want to set exercises, group exercises for your, for your meeting or your training session, or even if you want to do a bit of brainstorming. In this video today, we're gonna to look at how to set up a breakout room, how to preload some content, things like a Word document, perhaps for an exercise file or a presentation, and then we're gonna jump straight into that breakout room and I'm gonna show you how to manage the groups. Okay, are you ready? Then let's go. Okay, first let's create our team. So I click join or create, create. I wanna build a team from scratch. My team's gonna be private, invitation only. And my team name is gonna be 24 hours news team. Click create. And I get a nice thumbs up, nice work. And this is where I can start adding members to join this team. I'm just gonna key these ones in now. These people will get an email notification to say they've been added to this team. And in that email, there'll be a link which will take them to this team. If they don't have Microsoft Teams installed already, then it will prompt them to install it or they can access the web version. So I've got my team members in there now. So I click close. And if you look on the left-hand side, I've got the 24 hours news team and I've got general. So general is a channel, okay? So ch channels are like folders, allows you to organize the content of the teams. Now to create the breakout rooms, we need to create channels. So this is how you create a channel. So next to the team, click on the bottom of the dots and I'm gonna to go to add channel. Give my channel a name, so I'm gonna call this one group A. And I recommend changing the privacy to private. This will allow you to add the members to this channel, so who can see this channel. And it just keeps it organized. So if I click next, so team A is gonna have Ron Burgundy and Brian Fantana, and click add. Now when I click add, uh, they won't get an email notification. They only get a notification when you add them to a team, not a channel. So I'm gonna click done. And you'll see next to the group A, I've got a little padlock, which shows that it's a private team. Only the people that have been added to that channel can see it. So let's add another one. So this one's gonna be group B. Okay, so only those two people can see that group. A little thing that you might want to do is that you can preload an exercise into these channels. Okay, so let me show you how. So if I click down here on the paperclip, so I'm first gonna add the exercise, we've got one here. I'm just gonna press enter to this. So that will add this document to this channel. And then from here, so that's in there, and they could open it from, from the feed, that would be fine. But what I'm gonna do is gonna click plus, I'm gonna add an application, so I'm gonna search for Word, I'm gonna call it exercise. And I'm gonna select my document, I just uploaded. Click save. And what it does, it will add this document as a tab to that channel. So when people log in, will go into this channel, they will see the exercise tab up there. So it's just a handy way of doing it. So there's loads of, loads of different apps that you can add uh, to your channel. So you can add like a, one for PowerPoint. So if you want to add a presentation, maybe your presentation has the questions or the objectives, then you can add that too. Okay, and you would need to do that to each channel. So now that's done, it's time to schedule our meeting. So we can do that uh, in a number of different ways, but uh, in this video, I'm gonna click on general, and then down here at the bottom, I click on meet now. I do have the option to schedule a meeting now. So this will bring up all the appointment details that you might expect, where I can invite people, put in a subject, date and time. But as I'm live on this video, I'm gonna meet now, I'm gonna give it a subject, and this just helps to uh, keep an update in the channel itself. So if you look in the background, you've got one that I created earlier. That only lasted for 28 seconds, but uh, just to show you that um, when you set up these meetings, it keeps a record within the channels, which is, uh, which is really good. It's like an audit trial, if you like. 
So let's give this one a go. I'm going to call this Microsoft Teams training. Click Meet Now. Oh, before I do that, I'm going to switch off my camera. I've got too many cameras going on here, so I'm going to click Meet Now. There I am, looking smart. And on the right hand side, I've got suggestions of people that I could um, ask to join this, uh, this training session. But I'm just going to leave it as it is for now. I'm a one man band today, recording this video on a Sunday. Um, so I'm a one man band today, so I'm going to keep it as just me. So this is how it works. So I'll be in this training session, in this sort of classroom environment, you could think of it as. And then maybe during this session, I want to break up the, the group into two groups where they will work on an exercise. And this is where the channels come in. So this is what you would do. You wouldn't need to end this one. So it has the host. You would, on the left hand side, you would click on Teams, click on Group A. Down here at the bottom, you would click Meet Now and just click Meet Now. You can give it a subject as well, like with the other one. So this is me. Hello. <laughs> And uh, I'm just going to switch off my camera. So this is me in group A. Interestingly, on the right hand side, it does show all the members of our team, but only the two people that I've added to this channel will be able to see this channel. So I click close on that one for now. And so this is, I'm here. So I'm here in this group A channel, but over here on the top left, this is the general channel. And you can see that I'm on hold. Okay, so at any point I want to go back, I can click on this play button, resume, and now I'm back in talking in the main classroom. So this is where I could tell the class, right, I'm separating you into groups now. So group A, uh, Ron Burgundy and Brian Fantana, you're in group A, so if you can make your way there now. And then group B, Brick Tamland and uh, Veronica Cornerstone, you can go to your group. And uh, I haven't started group B yet, so let me just go to group B to get that one started. So you can see that Group A is in, got the video on there, got a little video camera going on. Let's click on B to get that one started. Click on the camera down here at the bottom and let's just switch off that camera. I've got too many cameras going on. So now I'm in Group B. And then those two meetings up here, so the general channel and Group A are on hold for me. So I can tell the group what to do. Look in your uh, channel for the exercise document. I'll be back in 10 minutes or so. And if I want to go back to the other groups, then I can do that. So I can click on play to resume this other group, check in, find out how they're all doing. I also have the option to share screens here if I wanted to. And the, the participants of this group can also share their screens. And then I go back to my general channel to make sure there's no stragglers here and make sure they've all gone across. Um, so this is how you work. So all the, when you sort of switch and going into the different channels, you automatically go on hold. So, um, you can't be talking simultaneously across different channels. It doesn't allow for multitasking. So I'm clicking back on Teams just to show you what's happening. So there's a video icon there for each one. And the idea is when you're in the general channel, when you have everyone there, you, you direct them, right? Go to Group A. When they're in Group A, they would click Join, and then they would be in that meeting. And the same with the Group B. Remember, the you can add the exercise tab at the top so they can work within there, within themselves. And then you, as the host, you can sort of check in with those groups to find out they're, how they're all doing. You've also got this sort of preview screen here at the top. It just sort of goes there on hold. So at any point, you can double click here. This will take me into the group, into that channel, the general channel. But what I must tell you, never click leave or hang up because that will just end the call. It's always better just to switch between the channels uh, by clicking on resume. If you haven't already, then please click subscribe so you can see future videos like this. And then you can either watch the video that I suggest or the video that YouTube is suggesting. Either way, I will see you in the next video.